Right, here we have the second uh, test of an Arduino based lap counter for scale electrics. Uh, there is a sensor on the board where this tape is, which is just an um, infrared LED one side and a phototransistor the other side. Uh, it comes to a fairly simple circuit and we read the analog value from the phototransistor. I could convert that to digital, but at the moment it's just easier to play this way, so that's how we go. And we display on the little display over here the last lap time and the number of laps. So, does it work? The top display comes on when we start. As you can see we have lap times and on a very, very basic circuit. Uh, I can't show you the inner lap because there's only one set of sensors at the moment, so I've uh, managed to blow about three phototransistors up today. But there we go, nice clear display, easy to read, especially for wires weren't in the way. And yeah, and there we go. Laptop screen shows times coming through as well. And that's basically what we've got. Uh, the logic is looking at the uh, light level coming through the phototransistor uh, with no car there it's picking up at about 20 on the uh, Arduino's inputs uh, with a car there it's anything over about 200 because the the masking of the between the uh, the LED and the phototransistor isn't brilliant uh, basically there's far too much light leakage around the little hole in the track which you probably can't see maybe I'll see just around Go right in that little uh, little notch there is where the uh, LED looks through, and I've had a lot of trouble getting the LED to mount close enough to the surface of the track. So the car's blade doesn't really obscure it fully. So hence why I've not really been able to use this as a, a digital signal as yet. But with a very simple program loop, it seems to be working so far. Um, yeah, next step is to get this working on multiple tracks and. Uh, Use something a little bit more robust than sellotape to hold it all together. Yep.